So this is my new kayak trailer that's uh, turned a utility trailer into a double-decker kayak trailer for a modestly cheap price compared to going and buying one. I uh, kind of did this to just see what happens and see how I like it because I probably will go buy one in the future. Um, after building it, I'm not a very good carpenter. I can put things together, but nothing was built by like a you know experienced carpenter or if like I never have any experience building a trailer so I kind of just pieced it together as I went along the things that I enjoy uh, really liked was putting the bigger wheels and tires on there I went to 14 inch wheels from a 12 inch wheel and um, just set the trailer up a little bit better feels like it rides better I uh, bought the two pair of wheels and tires off Amazon for I think around 150 bucks for the two wheels and tires together the wood, um, I think I spent two or three hundred dollars for like wood and screws, and the brackets to brace some of the stuff together, and um, the PVC. The PVC is not cheap because um, I bought several sticks and I probably didn't need that many, but I wanted to kind of mess around. And I still I don't have it. The top pieces I don't have it secured the way I want to yet. I'm still kind of tweaking with it. Um, I don't have any on it right now. I've taken them back off because I'm just putting one kayak on top. Uh, but with even with one kayak on there, over two, they it slides around a little bit. So I'm gonna work on trying to get it the most stable. I love the old town on the bottom. It's very stable. It slides right into that bottom, and it's very secure. I put one strap over it, and it's not going anywhere. The biggest reason I wanted to make a kayak trailer was I wanted to be able to haul two or three kayaks easily, and that's where I'm and be able to go on trips and take them. And I've, I've driven this trailer uh, two or three hours away and back, and it pulls fine, but I the more I use it, the more I want to go buy a really nice one for um, for to be more secure and made out of metal or like aluminum or steel, just something more secure. Also, I'd like to have a toolbox on the front, so I need a longer trailer. I can put a toolbox on the front. I can slide a bigger kayak, a Hobie or you know, big old town or something in the bottom, and then I want to be able to get at least two more, at least be able to have three um kayaks on a trailer because i go kayaking a lot with three sometimes four people and uh, if there was a way to you can put another fourth one in there but that that's kind of the main reason i wanted to build the trailer and that's what i'm using it for and is is doing the work i think i i forgot what it was i got around 700 bucks in the build i already had the trailer and um it's fine it's not the best thing in the world but it works for me so maybe some ideas and um also after doing this i do realize if, I, if the more I do this, I it's worth spending a few thousand dollars on getting a really good one. So if you're if that's what you're thinking about doing, I think buying one that's built specifically for this with everything new. I think I got a wheel bearing or something that's already messed up. Um, you know, if you go buy all new, everything's you know in good shape, built the right way with better tie downs and stuff like that. So anyhow, there's my trailer.